The boy came to class stark naked. His teacher and classmates were clueless. He decided to get back at two school bullies. He started with the first one, as he casually approached the bully. The bully was immersed in a song. The boy swiped a paintball gun from the bully's bag, and aimed at his teacher. Bam. He hit the blackboard. Students freaked out. The boy tossed the gun at the bully. The teacher, startled as she looked back, shouted the bully's name. The bully explained his innocence, but the teacher didn't believe him. She insisted on calling his parents. Now, the bully couldn't get away with it. Later, the boy came to the office. After he found his blank test paper, he grabbed the answer sheet from the locker and copied the answers. He nailed a perfect score. After learning invisibility, the boy headed to the women's bathhouse to check out many beauties. It was a feast for the eyes. The ladies couldn't even see him. He even spotted his longtime secret crush and couldn't help but stare at her. Suddenly, a girl tossed a towel right over his head. This caught everyone's attention and more girls started trickling in. The boy's body began to materialize as his invisibility gradually faded away. His heart raced. The girl screamed in horror. After pulling off the bath towel and seeing the naked boy, pervert, his school detained him, warning that it wouldn't bode well for his future if he had already been peeping at women at such a young age. Luckily, his mom was a cop, so there was no expulsion. But how did he go invisible? Here's the story. His name was Ray. He got bullied at school all the time. When he heard the bell, he knew something was up. The boy was about to get bullied. He hid in the bathroom, hurriedly locking the door. Someone violently pushed it open. In fear, Ray nervously sat on the toilet. The door was suddenly kicked open. You coward. You hid in here. The school bully forced the door open, grabbed him, and dragged him out. The bully aimed a paintball gun at him, while another deftly took out Ray's pocket money from his shoes. The bully used the butt of the gun to knock him down, threatening him to pay double his allowance next time, or face consequences. Given 10 seconds to escape, Ray started running for his life. The bully began counting down, and started shooting. It was like a lamb to the slaughter, as Ray kept running, desperately seeking refuge in the elevator. Unexpectedly, he collided with another school bully inside. In the hallway, the bully finally shot Ray, and they callously stepped over Ray's hand. Laughter echoed from the surrounding students, mocking the bullied Ray. Ray always had a crush on Bella, and loved taking pictures of her, but he never mustered the courage to say hello. One day, he attended a masquerade party she organized. He wanted to buy a Spider-Man costume, but the school bully robbed him of his money. Desperate, he went to a grocery store, where the shopkeeper offered him a cheap Superman costume claiming it would grant superpowers. When Ray arrived at the ball, he found Bella dressed as Marie, Queen of Louis XVI. When he was about to talk to her, the school bully broadcasted a compromising video Ray had taken of Bella. Confronted by her, Ray felt so ashamed that he hid in the restroom. Staring at himself in the mirror, he muttered, make me disappear, make me invisible. After a brief moment of darkness, Ray seemingly vanished. In fact, he was lying outside the window. The next day, Ray woke up and brushed his teeth, he noticed something was amiss. Ray suddenly realized he was invisible, dropping his toothbrush in disbelief. What was happening? Confused, Ray lay down in front of the mirror, scrutinizing himself closely. He looked down at his hands, but they were nowhere to be seen. Even after taking off his shower cap and checking again, there was no trace of him. Thinking it might be the mirror, he returned to his room and removed his bathrobe, only to be completely dumbfounded. He was invisible. Just then, his mom walked in, and saw only a towel on the floor, to avoid raising suspicion. Ray quickly scribbled a note, claiming he had gone to school, but, his dog sensed something, barking at the wall. His mom explained it was just a painting. Ray was now transparent. Due to the mysterious suit, he wrapped himself tightly, and headed to school. Spotting the bully, he decided to teach him a lesson. Ray stripped down completely, strolling into the classroom, unnoticed by both the teacher and his classmates. Seizing the bully's paintball gun, he aimed it at the blackboard, landing a perfect shot on the head. Then, he tossed the gun at the bully, leaving the teacher shocked and furious, resulting in a stern scolding for the bully. Later, Ray headed to the office, changing his zero paper into a perfect score. Now, it was time to deal with the bully's sidekick, deliberately pushing him during a game. The sidekick's anger affected his tennis match, leading to a loss, and subsequent scolding from his father. In the lounge, a mysterious voice asked, Do you want to play with me? Startled, the sidekick ran away. Ray peeked at a girl taking a shower. He had only been peeking for a short time, before he was caught. Ray found his palms had turned transparent. In the middle of class, he quickly shoved his hands up his sleeves to hide the unusual sight. As the bell rang, Ray bolted out of the classroom. Upon arriving home, he found his sister in his room. Ray turned his back to her, and asked her to leave. 
His sister pretended to close the door, as Ray took off his hat and turned his head, prompting a scream from his sister. Ray swiftly covered her mouth, to avoid their mom finding out. His sister promised to keep the secret, deciding to skip school. Ray spent the day reading comics at home. When he heard his mom's voice, he stripped naked. When his mom entered, she only found his clothes on the floor. Eavesdropping on his mom's phone call, Ray discovered that he wasn't her biological son, he was adopted. The revelation hit him like a bolt from the blue. He went to the beach alone to swing and reflect. Have you ever witnessed a swing moving on its own? When Bella saw the mysterious phenomenon, curiosity led her to approach and question if it was a ghost. Ray, in response, drew a round face on the ground. Sparking the beginning of their friendship, Bella was bold. They even shared a kiss under the covers. One night, Bella was practicing the balance beam in the gymnasium. Bella was suddenly shot and then abducted by men in black. Witnessing the scene, Ray swiftly pursued them, managing to get into the car, but ultimately being thrown off by them. He watched helplessly. Bella was taken to a lab, where they discovered she wasn't the intended target. Placed in a dark room, Bella found herself alongside two other captured students. Back home, Ray was eager to save Bella, intended to wear the Superman suit. However, his mom had washed the suit, causing him to lose his invisibility. A heated argument ensued between them, with him angrily declaring, you're not my mom. He ran out of the house and encountered a mysterious man, revealing himself as Ray's biological father, who had escaped from the lab. In this place, superpowers were commonplace. Some could manipulate objects with their minds, others could effortlessly float in the air, and some could extend their arms indefinitely, much like Luffy. The government actively researched these superpowers, revealing that many individuals had been affected by nuclear radiation, resulting in mutated genes and the development of extraordinary abilities. These people were often referred to as psychics, becoming subjects for military experiments. Ray's father was among them, gifted with the ability to read minds. However, Excessive use of his powers took a toll on his body, gradually causing him to lose his eyesight. Ray's biological mother fell in love with him at first sight, and soon after, she gave birth to Ray. During an escape attempt, Ray's mother was tragically shot dead, leaving his father to flee with him in his arms. Placing him in front of his foster mom's house, his father equipped him with a suit that granted invisibility. The men in black managed to locate Ray, swiftly locking the door. Ray searched the kitchen for tools, while the men relentlessly pushed against the door. As the intruder was on the brink of entry, Ray ingeniously changed into the suit, rendering himself invisible. The men in black resorted to scattering flour into the air, to trace Ray's movements. Ray, now invisible, hurriedly ran upstairs, unwittingly leaving a trail of flour-stained footprints. The men in black swiftly seized Ray, throwing him into a cupboard, making his invisibility fade. With the men in black closing in, Ray pressed a switch on the bed, delivering a swift kick that allowed him to escape. Concentrating, Ray turned invisible again, dashing the river where he unexpectedly encountered the bully. Together, they fled on a motorcycle. The bully, in awe of Ray's invisibility, expressed admiration. They decided to save Bella together. Meanwhile, Bella joined the other two captured boys. She stood on top of them, to escape through the skylight. Facing a multitude of guards at the door, Bella opted for an upward escape, opening her arms. She skillfully utilized the road under her feet as a makeshift balance beam, ascending to the top. Once there, she drew a smiley face on the searchlight and shot it into the air. It was a coded message for Ray. Ray learned the location where Bella was and rushed there with the school bully. This boy could turn invisible. Bella had been kidnapped by the bad guy. Ray and the bully decided to take different routes. The bully broke the meter box to cause chaos, while Ray, invisible, sneaked in. Armed with a fire extinguisher, Ray knocked out the guards and seized the guard's gun, using it to coerce another guard into opening the door. Seeing the levitating gun, Bella realized her best friend was coming to the rescue. Ray locked the guards in a room. He removed his mask, revealed himself to Bella as Ray. They were about to make their escape. When Bella suggested saving an old man, they split up, with Ray and Bella going to rescue the old man. While the others ran out, Ray followed Bella to a house. As the lights came on, several strong men were revealed. Bella's expression changed. She fainted, as the old man lightly grabbed her. It turned out the old man had superpower, capable of controlling others with his mind. He was the one who controlled Bella. Meanwhile, Ray's foster mom and dad arrived, encountering the school bully, guided by him. They reached the entrance of the lab. The sinister old man activated his self-destruct device. They escaped by a submarine. Ray's foster mom managed to rescue two kids and a psychologist. As they fled, a massive explosion rocked the lab. The old man, resorting to threats against Bella's life, attempted to coerce Ray into joining them. Fueled by rage, Ray clenched his fists, causing the entire submarine to shake. As Bella reached for the safety hatch, 
Ray unleashed another superpower, mind control. The strong man's pistol flew away as Ray turned, causing the pressure gauge to burst and water to splash everywhere. Ray had everything under control, securing the safety hatch. Bella and Ray successfully resurfaced. As Bella pressed the button, Ray's dad used his powers to erase everyone's memories, preventing unnecessary trouble. Ray adorned his clothes with the alien pattern. His foster mom received congratulations for rescuing the three students. The school celebrated their safe return, no longer afraid of the school bully. Ray even received an invitation for a walk from Bella. It seemed like a happy ending. The end. Introducing the Invisible Boy movie. Here's a question for you. If you had the power of invisibility, what would you do? Share your answers in the comments section below. We highly recommend watching the original movie for the full experience. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.